welcome to the presentation on Hyper Studio 5. Now, to get started, the first thing you need to do is simply click on New Stack. Once you've done that, go to the View menu and click on Show Toolbars. Go back to View and click on Show Card Indexes. Right now you can see there's only one card. So what we want to do is simply add a few more by pushing this button. Now what I want you to do is select the first card. Go to background and click add a graphic. If you type in the search box you will find some Canadian resources. Scroll down and click on the Canadian map. Please resize it so that it's as big as it can be and centered. Next, what I want you to do is go to Tools and click on Text. Today what I'm going to do is pretend that I've been assigned to the task of Alberta. So I'm going to click on Alberta and type in the name Alberta with my text box. Next I'm going to use a text object. A text object is a little bit different than a text box because it allows you to have certain actions associated with it and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to double click in the box and type in Edmonton. Then what I'm going to do is move it over to a more appropriate place. Now you can see that I'm able to associate actions. Let me click on action. When I click on Edmonton I want it to go to a, the next card and I'm going to transition with a cube so I'll say OK and I want it to open a web page. Now if you can find the links that you're supposed to get from Wikipedia you can simply select them, right click and copy, and paste, right click and paste them in the address bar. Then say OK. Once you've done those two uh, actions, hit the X to close out. I think it would be good here as well to select your paintbrush, and then from the drop down menu, you can pick a dark color and paint a spot. Right in the appropriate spot for the city of Edmonton. Once you've done that, click on your arrow or or sorry, click on your hand. Your hand is going to allow you to see the actions that are associated with the word Edmonton. So let's check it out. What happens when we push Edmonton? Well, here it is. It's our wiki page on Edmonton. Perfect. That's just what was supposed to happen. So now we can close this. Now you can see we're on the next page. This time I want you to add in some, some more graphics. So hit on the graphic icon. And this time you want to import your files from Hyper Studio, your Hyper Studio folder. In this case, I'm going to pick the Edmonton graphic. I'll close this out. Again, I can resize this to my liking. All right. Um, now we're also going to create a button. Click on the button icon and choose one of the buttons. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this button next because I want it to go to the next page. So I'm going to click on action and tell it to go to the next page or card and again transition with the cube and say OK and close that out. Now when you're here you can add in more text or information about Edmonton along with the title. Alright, let's check out our actions. So again I'm clicking on the hand and let's push next. Ah, perfect. Again it transitions to the last page. Now what we're going to do is associate our Google Earth link. So again, let's click on a graphic 
and my major resource is oil so I'll select that photo and I will I will resize it perfect when I click on it I can get more actions associated with it again in this case I'm going to say I want to open another program and I will choose that program it's going to be Google Earth so I'm going to go to the Google Earth client and open that up and I'm going to choose the KMZ file that we created previously so that will be uh, again in my folder for Hyper Studio and there it is KMZ and I'll say OK and I'll close that again so what happens when I push on my hand if I select this it should be, bring me right to Google Earth uh, and there it is and we found the tar sands of Alberta perfect that's all you need to do thank you so much and have a great day